Hey guys, today we're going to be continuing watching the Hat Stereotype series from Soundsmith. I think this is the last episode. It's episode 10. It revolves around the spy, and so far this series has been so good, man. Of course, we've watched Soundsmith in the past with things like the Man's Guide, and it was really good, so I assumed... Um, this one was going to be great, and it was. I've, I've enjoyed watching this series. Soundsmith's a great content creator for TF2, man. And it just seems like his stuff gets better and better and better as it goes on. It's just really awesome to see. So thank you so much to everybody that recommended I should watch this series, because it's been awesome, man. So with that being said, if you're new, do not forget to hit that sub button. Please and thank you, and let's go ahead and jump into it. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the favorite class of every new player ever. The, uh... The Tuxedo Terrorist. <laughs> uh, what? Now, there are plenty of stigmas about spy mains that I could be talking about. I, I think the most prominent one is that spy mains are all weeaboos, or, you know, something like that. And to be honest, I just feel like that's kind of the, the low-hanging fruit, you know what I mean? Which is why I'm going to make that joke right away. <laughs> He said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get that out the way here at the beginning. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, so oh. now that that's out of the way, let's do that whole disclaimer thing. Stereotypes don't oh, always gotta do to everyone, it. so don't get mad at me just because you don't like your stereotype for the hat you wear. It's not and the last one, he had to put it on there for sure, because he was making a few jokes, though, and some songs there at the beginning. <laughs> not my fault. Anyway, everybody ready? All right, let's go. All right. Okay, okay definitely so have seen this I one. Start off with the old school player hat, and you'd think that this would apply here. This was one of the first hats for Spy, so a lot of veteran players would understandably be attached to this hat. That being said, it's kind of become known as the veteran Spy hat in the oh. last few years, meaning a lot of new spies who want to seem like they're experienced will wear this hat thinking it'll fool everyone. Oh. Uh, spoiler alert. It doesn't. Is this still like a common hat? Because I've seen it, but I, you know, I haven't seen it like a ton. This guy is usually a stock <laughs> tourist. He's only going. <laughs> I have not seen this one, but I want it so bad. I'm going to use the <laughs> default weapons for spy. In this case, that's actually really good. Since the stock weapons, are I need this one. I'm just saying, I this is this is one of the best ones. I need this. Spies are really good, consistent, and not infuriating to play against when they're abused or used as a crush. So oh. as much as I hate spies in general, I really respect these guys at the same time. Even though the hilariously overpowered set effect tied to this hat is long gone, these guys will still always use the Saharan spy set and usually the Dead Ringer with it. Despite the fact that the Denringer's decloak is no longer almost completely silent, they're still holding on to it. You know, maybe it's out of a sense of nostalgia, or maybe it's because they're terrible at staying alive and they need to have a crutchy get out of jail free card. <laughs> in, case you, in case you haven't figured out, I really don't like the Denringer. <laughs> oh boy, this ought to be good. So, there are two types of Charmer Chapeau Spies. Uh -oh. First, there are the ones who haven't quite figured out that they have a gun yet. They'll constantly <laughs> try for trick stabs, even on people who aren't complete morons, and when they inevitably fail, instead of going invisible to escape or backing up and shooting you with their class's primary weapon, they'll just hop around like an <laughs> idiot hoping you'll approach and become a victim of this game's shitty melee hit reg. And then they'll act like it was all skill when they eventually get a face stab. Now, oh, on the man. other side of the coin, we actually have the, uh, the exact opposite. These guys refuse to use their knife. In fact, they'll always use the ambassador, no matter what. Oh. Even if they can't actually aim, they'll still try to use it so they can be like Akuma and get those sick ambi headshots. So today we've got a certified spy main here with us to talk to Wake us me about up. Uh, why he loves the ambassador so much. So yeah, welcome. So tell me, why do you use the ambassador? Well, it's the best revolver for spy by far. Oh wait, this is like he's a the actually in like having an interview with somebody. I thought he was about to. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought he was just putting something at the bottom and was gonna make like another voice himself. <laughs> but no, this is real. This is cool, man. Okay, uh, what makes you say that? 
Well, I watched Akuma play Spy, and he uses it, so that means every other revolver must be bad. Well, but the stock revolver is really consistent and helpful for someone without godlike aim, right? Yeah, but it isn't the Ambassador. Okay, but the Diamondback rewards you with crits that do the same damage as the Ambassador for just playing your class effectively, right? Yeah, but it isn't the Ambassador. Okay, but the L'Etranger is a fantastic utility weapon that allows you to more effectively get behind enemy lines and get crucial picks, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Right, so you don't <laughs> always have to use But it the... isn't the ambassador. Oh, for fuck's sake. But it isn't man. the ambassador. <laughs> this is the spy's low tier unusual <laughs> hat. The nuts and bolts one won't even cost you 10 keys if you can find the right seller. Man, that Just is look cool. For the book sales. Now, this hat is the true veteran spy hat. It was spy's first hat ever, but barely oh. anyone ever wears it anymore, which means that the ones who still wear it have been wearing it for a really long time. Oh, they wow. also usually use stock, but they're open to using whatever's the most effective weapon for a certain situation. Because I missed time the script. <laughs> oh, okay, I have not seen. This looks really cool, I'm man. I'm actually a huge fan of this one. I know a lot of people like it. We have different tastes. That's fine. That's okay, Soundsmith. Not going to hold it against oh, you. Oh, wow. It's such a cool future <laughs> cyborg hat. People will think I'm cool. It looks cool. This. You know, that sort of thing. But it's really hard to pair with Spy's other cosmetics. I, oh, I don't know. I could see oh, that. And this guy usually uses the Diamondback, so expect for him to pull out a metric shit ton of crits just out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay, so most of you who wear this hat probably wear it because you saw that one main menu picture of the spy with this one and thought it was funny. Uh, that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just it's still <laughs> fairly widespread. <laughs> He's like, that's it. So this guy will usually use the L'Etranger, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. Maybe it's because the name is similar? I, I don't really know. As far as I know, there's no item set or anything. It's the only thing that connects these two together is the name. It's just... I don't know, man. Because <laughs> I don't know. And oh, I've definitely not seen this. the most tryhardy hat that Spy has. Now, again, I just want to clarify that being a tryhard is not a bad thing. I, I know that it's gotten a negative connotation over the years, so let me just explain what I mean. This guy doesn't try to be flashy. He doesn't go for trick stabs willy-nilly. He won't try and get unnecessary headshots with the ambassador to look cool. He tries to win. <laughs> And if that means not doing something fancy and just stabbing some people, then he'll do it, which is really respectable. I was going to say, you can't really blame him for wanting to win. You know what I mean? Like, if they're going out of their way, I get it. But if they're just actually trying to play and win the game, I get it. This spy has been playing the game for a while now, but he's not amazing at the class. Of course, that can actually work out in his favor sometimes, since he won't always do the things that you expect experienced spies to do. Now, this hat is a total war pig. Okay, in fact, a lot of spies hats are war pigs, but this one is probably one of the bigger ones. This guy uses the sharp dresser all the time and thinks he can trick stab, and uh, he probably can't. He probably can't. This guy will almost always I've definitely seen this like one. escapist, and that's really it. There's, there's nothing else. That's it. <laughs> Why are you still here? Go. Go. That's it. That's the joke. There is no joke. It's just a stereotype. Go. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get we, we gotta get the energy joke. Let's go. Come on. Move along. Oh man. Oh, that You know, I knew it, was, it it might would be in here, but I thought maybe since he did it so much in the last video and we were right there toward the end, I thought maybe it wouldn't. It did. That's it for today. Oh, man. As always, if I missed a hat you wanted to see, let me know so that I can put it in the last episode, which I reserved for popular hats that I missed the first time around. And after that, well, uh, well, that's it. Well, I mean, not really. I'm yeah. absolutely <laughs> going to do more stereotype videos for things like weapons and misks and paints and, you know, other stuff. I'm well aware that the stereotype videos are the reason most of you subscribed, so I have no plans to stop doing that. Don't worry. And, uh, other than that, I think that's all I had. So, yeah. Oh, man. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, dude.
Okay, that one was awesome, man. Um, thank you so much to everybody that recommended that I should start the series because it has been awesome. I thought this was the last episode, but forgot about the honorable mentions. There's honorable mentions after this one. I don't know if it's any good. So if it is and you want to see me react to it, just let me know in the comments down below. And also, as always, I'll put the original video link down below if you want to go check it out for yourself because this has been awesome, man. So if you haven't already, be awesome if you hit this video with a like. It really helps out the channel here. Um, if you want to, you're more than welcome to come hang out with me on Twitch. I'll be sure to put my link in the description down below. I've been playing TF2 on the weekends and then playing um, other games during the week to get a little bit of variety. But we'll be having a really, really fun time over there. And I'd love to see you over there if you're not already hanging out over there. And that's all I got, man. So I will see you in the next video. And do not forget, it's Work Army for Life.